We'll go back 10 minutes after 8 o'clock. Got two special guests with us this morning, Laura Starling and JT Speller, who are with the Community Hi. Blood Center of the Carolinas. And uh, we're talking blood this morning because people don't understand, I think, sometimes just a tremendous need for blood out there. How great is the need right now, y'all? It's huge. Um, we do about 400 units per day. And the CBCC does all the, um, most of the blood locally here in the Carolinas. Uh, we really need the support right now. There's been a 15% increase in the need for blood over the last few weeks, few months. So do we know why that is, JT? Winter weather, you know, people just not donating. So that's why we really need the support right now. Ah, ah, yeah. ah. So, well, tell me a little bit about what the community blood, blood center does, Laura. Our community blood center, we are the primary blood supplier for the Carolinas. We supply over 400 pints a day. Um, so we are basically going out to every business organization asking, please, would you host a blood drive? Yeah, and when you all do a blood drive, do you notice, is it mainly people who have, percentage-wise, people who have donated blood regularly, or is it first-timers? What's the, what's the mix of people who give blood? Well, there's quite a mix. It just depends. I'd say our high schools really support the bulk of our donors, 25% high school students and college students. Wow. Yes. And without them, we wouldn't be able to do it, let me tell you. Oh. Um, there's quite a few new donors. Of course, you will find some that are afraid of donating blood, but after they do it the first time, they come right back. Yeah. How much time, JT, does it take to give blood? A lot of people think, I just don't have the time to go over there and do that. I'm anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour. We tell people to plan for an hour. But honestly, the longest part of the donation process is just history when they ask uh -huh. you all the questions. It's, but... it's not the giving blood <laughs> yeah, itself. That's it's right. what you, the paperwork you have to <laughs> take care of before you do all that. And a lot of people think, oh, man, I don't want to get stuck by an hit. It's so painful. No, it's... Like getting stung maybe by a bee, but it's really quick. And the good thing is, at the end of the day, you feel like you helped save somebody's life. And for me, that's the biggest reward of all. Mm -hmm. Does the blood given here uh, for y'all's organization, does it stay in the Carolinas? Yes. It stays here in the Carolinas. Oh, wow. And you all have a uh, big uh, project coming up here with the CIAA tournament coming to town. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, well, we have a partnership. We're so excited about our partnership with the CIAA. We're having blood drives Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, which is February 23rd through the 25th. Um, each person that presents will receive a CIAA CBCC limited edition t-shirt. Oh my gosh, yeah. wow. That's nice, I didn't that, even know that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, JT, we're glad we can uh, give you some good oh, new you. information. <laughs> I'm <getting warm> with <laughs> I'm warm with that. that is terrific, and you're obviously going to get a lot of people there uh, during that time. But you need, we need to encourage people, it's like every day, yes. isn't it? It's, it's just, so if you want to give blood, what do I need to do outside of, say, the CIAA tournament? That's going to get a lot of publicity, of course. Yeah, absolutely. But what about ordinary every day? What, what do people need to know? Where can they go to give blood? Well, we have locations. We have one in Charlotte, Gastonia, Hickory, Greensboro, and Concord. But if you want to make an appointment online, you can just go to cbcc.us and schedule an appointment up there and find a, a mobile drive in your area. Yeah, okay. And we want to get that information up. Of course, we're going to have it on our website, wbtv.com as well. Is there any specific blood type that is in greater need than, say, others? I would say all blood is needed right now, but right now we're really trying to increase our African-American donor base. Uh, we need them to donate because we have about 6,000 sickle cell patients here in North Carolina, wow. and African-American donors are, can donate towards those patients. Um, they're about 98% of them are African-American, and African-American blood can be more likely used for those patients. So we need their support because they need such a specific type of blood transfusion that it's very important that someone like them donate for them. Okay, so, mm -hmm. but anyone is welcome. Mm -hmm. and, anyone uh, and, and everyone is welcome. And minimum age is what? 16. 16. 16. You have to be at least 16. With parental consent. With parental consent. How about that? That's right. Get out there and donate blood. We're going to have the website up on our website as well. Good luck. Thanks for doing this, y'all. Well, it's so you important thank you for having us. what you all are doing. We really appreciate it. All right, stay with us. 14 minutes after 8, and we'll be back right after this.